Hi, I'm Joe. I'm the IT librarian here at Churchill County Library. And today I want to show you our exciting new resource, uh, LinkedIn Learning. So if you remember lynda.com, LinkedIn Learning is the next iteration of that. So everything that was in Lynda is now in LinkedIn Learning. So um, starting from the library website, uh, we do have it up on the banner. So you can just flip to the banner and click on that. Or in our databases, you can just go to L. And here we are, LinkedIn Learning, formerly Linda. OK, so when we get to the landing page, um, this is where you'll log in from. And I'm showing you this on a desktop. There is also an app. They work pretty much the same way, but the desktop is a little bit easier to get the best experience out of it because there are things like test files and other stuff that work better on a computer. It tends to assume you're using a computer rather than a phone or a mobile device. But both work. You can do both. And your library card gets you in on either end. OK, so we say get started. And then you will log in with your library card number, which is the one on the back of your card. No spaces. And then your PIN, which is usually the last four of your phone number. Um, if you're not sure what yours is or yours isn't working, give us a call and we'll reset it. OK, then we go continue. OK, so here we are on our learning page. So it'll show you everything you have in in common, or in, excuse me, in progress down here. Um, if you save something but haven't started it yet, it'll pop up in saved. Um, but let's for now assume that we want to pick out something new to learn. So there are all kinds of topics in here, um, and they break it down roughly into business, creative, and technology. So here's business topics. Here are some creative topics. I'm still thinking. Here we go. So if you wanted to learn, you know, drawing or photography editing, image editing, um, the motion graphics, graphic design, um, 3D modeling. So there's all kinds of this stuff in here, um, user experience, web design, uh, video stuff, if you're working on your YouTube channel. And of course, there's a whole bunch of technology topics in here. So data science, database management, IT help desk. Um, so really, there's there's lots of choices. You can pick whatever is useful to you, what is you know relevant to the job you're doing, the job you're looking for. Um, but let's go look at something in the creative end just for fun, and I'll show you how it works. OK, so let's pretend that what we want to learn is typography. OK, so it brings me everything labeled typography when I look. And I can also step back if I want to go back into creative, or I can just go back into the illustration ones. Uh, we can look for courses, videos, or learning paths, which are more sort of specific ones. We can look at levels. We can look at how long it takes. Um, so this one, there tend to be a lot of short ones, but there are a lot of, kind of other things. We can look at what software is used. So if you are you know you have one of these, or this is one you want to learn. Um, if you know you want to do it in Photoshop or in design. Custom tags, there aren't any in there. Um, and if this is for um, a certification continuing education thing, um, you can sort for the ones that are relevant to your certification. There aren't any for this channel. But if there were, that's where they would be. So once we pick out a course, so let's pick out Introduction to Graphic Design. We click into it. OK, so we'll start playing once we get in there. Here are the contents. Um, and the files that you will need for the exercises are going to be in the related chunk right here. And the certificates pop up after you finish that can print out that, yes, you did this course. So notebook is where you take notes. Transcript, um, if you have an easier time reading than listening, um, or you just want both. This is the transcript of everything in the video. And when you click on each chunk, it takes you, it jumps you to where that happens in the video. So that's cool. OK, so that's how, that's what the courses look like. They're all pretty much similar layout wise. Um, obviously, the content changes based on the course. You can close the contents if you want to see the video big. You can make it go faster um, if you think the person talks too slowly or you're, you know, you're just doing a really quick review, you can turn it up. You can turn captions on or off. 
You can turn auto play off, you can turn off the quality, you can turn off keyboard shortcuts. Um, so there are a lot of options kind of in there to tinker with. And then up at the top, we have home, which takes you back where we were. And then my learning um, is where you can see uh, more specific stuff. You can save stuff, you can look at your saved, you can look at your collections. So collections are like subtopics that you have stuck all together. So if you wanted to make a little collection for yourself of web design stuff, because that's what you're working on right now, you could just, all the courses you need to make your web design curriculum that you, you've decided you need for yourself, um, you can stick together in a collection. Your history will just show you what you've completed. I haven't completed anything yet. And skills are where you can add like topics you're interested in. Um, and this is where it decides what to recommend to you. Um, so you can add stuff um, or you can search for things. So if I am really interested in fonts, I can search for fonts and then I can add fonts to my little cloud of skills and topics. Um, and here are some that it thinks I would be interested in. So if I say, yes, I am interested in design, I can click on that one. I don't care about business strategy, so I'm not going to touch it, but I do want to learn about Excel. Okay, and now it's I've add, added these into things that it will show me when it's suggesting. So there's one other thing I want to show you in here that's really neat. And the search function is really robust, and it will let you um, search for pretty granular things. So we could search for just Microsoft Excel, which brings us all kinds of things. So tons of courses, tons of learning paths. Um, there's you know the essentials, there's basics. Um, so it also will bring you things that use Excel, even if Excel isn't the fundamental topic. So statistics, foundations, financial modeling, data analytics, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but you can also look a little more specifically. So let's say your boss has said, make me a pivot table of this information from the last three weeks. And you are thinking, oh my God, I don't know what a pivot table is. You can type in the box, Excel pivot tables. And so it is finding you things specifically about pivot tables. Here's beginners, here's in depth, real world case studies, mastering them, tips, all kinds of stuff, quick tips. Um, so if what, all you need is like, I need to learn this specific thing that Excel does, you can search for it and it will usually bring it to you. Um, so that lets, gives you some flexibility. It doesn't have to be the big 12 hour deep dive into the fundamentals of Excel. You can just look for, I need this thing. How do I do this thing? And the nice thing about this is these are all made by, you know, paid knowledgeable experts. They're not just some dude. Um, so you're getting better information than you would if you just take to the open internet. Um, to go looking and then you have to sort through like, is this a thing that only works in this one version or is this some person who doesn't know what they're talking about? They, we have pre-selected and pre-bundled. These are people who know what they're talking about, who are doing it in the orthodox um, way that is applicable in a lot of cases um, and they'll explain it in uh, professional detail. So that is LinkedIn Learning. And I cannot emphasize enough how many things there are in here if you're looking to learn something, take a look in here. There's so much, there's so much you can learn. Um, and it's all free with your library card. Um, and if you're having any problems, give us a call or send us an email and we will get you in so you can learn whatever you want. Okay, see you later, bye.